Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here and today you're going to get to know your fellow humans through a fun and often insightful experience. Like telling everyone about your worst day at school where each person will recount their worst day at school story. But the game has some hidden strategies where it's not always about what stories are told, but sometimes how entertaining they are when told. Top Tale is a family friendly game for 4 to 10 players plays in approximately 30 minutes, and published by Yub Nub Games. It's on Kickstarter right now, so I'm going to show you how the game works, and I'll see you on the other side. This is a Kickstarter preview, so you're going to want to check the Kickstarter link in the description of this video to see all the final art and components and all of the final pledge levels. Now, Top Tail is a party game for 4 to 10 players, and it's the best way to get to know your fellow human. How it works is there is a start player for the round. That player will take a card and they'll flip it up and they'll read it to everybody. Like, it might say, my worst kitchen accident. And then there's a little caption here, the fire, the mess, the burnt steaks. Sometimes those are just fun things to read to everybody because sometimes it can spark memories that maybe they didn't quite remember at the time, but help them with their story. So starting with the player who flipped this up, they're actually going to think about their worst kitchen action accident that actually happened to them and they're going to go about saying it now it could be it's got to be true but it could be a very serious dramatic thing or it could just be a very fun and easy thing because once everyone in clockwise order has said their story everybody's going to vote you can't vote for yourself and whoever gets the most votes will get this card as a sort of a score that gives you a point and at the end of the game whoever has the most of these is the winner now, when voting, if you're tied, the tied players actually will flip another card and only those tied players will actually tell their tales and then the, all players will vote for them again. Now, you can play this game for as long as you want. It's very flexible. You can come up with how many cards you'd want to play or just set a time limit and whoever has the most then will win. But if you're playing with four to six players, a good length is to get five of these, you win. And if you're playing with seven to 10 players, getting three of these, you'll win. But again, it's very flexible. It's a party game. Do whatever feels right for your group. Now for me, this is actually real. I was cooking in the kitchen and I am terrible at cooking. Really, I am. I just heat up stuff in the microwave and I, I burn water, as I say. Well, actually, one time I was cooking and I had one of those glass Pyrex uh, sort of pans with something in it and I was turning on and trying to boil water. Well, I didn't realize that I put that glass pan on one of the burners and when I turned the burner on for the oven, I actually turned on the wrong one and it started heating up that glass pan with food in it. By the time I realized that things were smoking, I ran and got the potholders, I turned off the burner and I picked it up. And that was the wrong thing to do because when I picked it up, the, the difference in temperature between that and, and just the air temperature caused that thing to instantly shatter into thousands of pieces. I don't know how I didn't get cut. I didn't lose my eye. I got hit with things, but I didn't get cut. There were pieces of glass everywhere and it took days. I was still finding little pieces of glass on the kitchen floor weeks later. I mean, that literally really happened. I'm telling you the truth. Now, someone else might tell their truthful story and it might be totally different. It might be just funny or entertaining. It might say, hey, you know what? I bought this new chef hat. I looked really cool. I was trying to be like, you know, a hardcore chef. I had my apron on and I decided to put my big, tall chef hat on. I'm here I am cooking, looking cool in front of everybody. And then, you know, my mom comes in and turns the, the fan on, thinking it's the different light, and the fan catches my hat and it goes flying around the room and lands right into the spaghetti, and everyone just died laughing. And that might happen, and some of your stories might be very entertaining like that. But again, once everyone's done, everyone will vote simultaneously for a player that's not themselves by pointing at them, and whoever gets the most will get that and they'll score it. Then the next player clockwise will start a new round by putting the card down face up just like that. So maybe you have a card that says, hey, what's the food you can't resist? It says Twinkies. I mean, for me, legitimately, it is any type of chocolate. I am a chocoholic. I like all types of chocolate, whether it's hard candy, whether it's actually chocolate bars, whether it's chocolate anything. I get a triple layer chocolate cake that I like. You can put chocolate on anything, chocolate spaghetti, who cares? You put chocolate on anything and I love it. I mean, who knows what I would eat with chocolate. I might even eat chocolate bugs. I, that's how much I like chocolate. And that's the truth. Let's see what you, what you would think of next. And that's sort of how the game works. So let's show you some more of these different cards. So maybe you'll be talking about the strangest 
place my pet ended up in, or the worst pain I've felt, or an embarrassing moment in class, or something that made you squeamish, or my most memorable holiday, or longest road trip, my, you know, what uh, my parent made me eat, the strangest place I've crawled into, when I was lost, the best dad joke, and so on and so forth. I don't want to spoil all the cards for you, but those are some of the types of things. It's definitely family friendly here. Now, a couple of things here. This is the OG Volume 1. There's going to be more volumes that are going to be coming, and you can buy those as well and add it. You can mix them in with this specific volume. Also, there's going to be an app available, which if you buy the physical copy of the game, you'll get a code, and you'll be able to play all of the cards in this version uh, in, a, you know, in an electronic form by having the cards be drawn by the app. Now, if you don't buy this, in the app, there'll be like a small sample of cards, and then you can buy more, so you can play it either having the game itself or with the app, you know, or a little bit of both, depending on what you want to do. Well, there you have Top Tail, and as I showed in the overview, it's meant to appeal to just about anyone from any background and can be used as an icebreaker or as a tool to get people to open up. Now, if you'd like to see all the final components and art and cards and such, you can check out all the pledge levels available below me in the description of this video. It will take you directly to the Kickstarter project page, and I'm sure that Yub Nub Games would love your support.